About a thousand protesters turned out at the high school baseball field to tell what they call the truth about Chris Christie. They came from across New Jersey, most of them teachers in red t-shirts who remain furious with the governor for not fully funding their pensions. Now they're angry he's running for president. The governor says he's telling it like it is. We're here to tell it like it is. His policies have been disastrous for New Jersey. They would be disastrous for the country. Livingston High School teacher Anthony Rosamelia says he took particular offense that Christie chose to declare his candidacy at his school after the governor spent years castigating teachers and cutting education funding, regardless. It doesn't matter if you're a teacher, a cop, a fireman, a public worker. It doesn't matter if you're a working person in New Jersey. This governor doesn't care one bit for you. I'm here because the rest of the country needs to see that he cannot be trusted. He lied, and, and liars don't deserve to be our leader. Citizen action has called for Governor Chris Christie to resign. Phyllis Salo Kay displayed a resignation letter Citizen Action sent to Christie today, urging him to sign it because, as a presidential candidate hopscotching across the country, his priorities have shifted. This governor can't be making decisions that affect our state and our families based upon what conservative voters want to hear him say in South Carolina or in Iowa. We will not accept a governor who will make his job a part-time job here in New Jersey. I'm here to stand up and speak out for my family and the thousands of others that despite the governor's promises remain homeless since Superstorm Sandy. Keep your word, Christy! Krista Sperba arrived with other Sandy victims who still can't go home because their houses haven't been repaired. She's moved half a dozen times and her kids are suffering. She finds Christie's presidential declaration offensive. He's on a bid for the White House. They don't care what color their house is. They just want to go home. He promised he would help and has done absolutely nothing. It's been a struggle. We've spent everything that we have to live outside of our homes. Do you all know how dangerous this governor is? Because when he gets inside those town halls and he leans forward like this and he looks you in the eye, he's going to make contact with the voters who haven't experienced the damage and terror that he has rained upon the state of New Jersey. So brothers and sisters, we've got work to do. Protesters say they know the governor can't hear them, but they say they hope that voters in primary states like New Hampshire are listening. In Livingston, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.